family still doesn't buy that conclusion. And they've uncovered evidence suggesting she was murdered. Today, a search party combed the woods east of towns of Austin and Magog, hoping to find new clues to shed light on how Teresa died. Mike Armstrong reports. John Allure knows he's looking for a needle in a haystack, a needle that might not even exist. He knows, but he's still here. You make the attempt, and then you can say to yourself, well, we looked. We, we looked, maybe we found something, maybe we didn't, but at least we tried. The odds are against finding clues in a crime that's almost three decades old. All the same, about 40 volunteers turned out to search about six hectares. We do two passes, one going up and the other one coming down. 19-year-old Teresa Lohr disappeared after a party in the fall of 1978. Her body was found in a small brook several months later, naked except for underwear. At the time, some hunters from this forest told police they'd seen some clothes folded up on a log, clothes similar to what Teresa had been wearing. Now there's something else too, a murder a year before Teresa disappeared. March 25, 1977, a 20-year-old woman's body was found in this forest. Louise Cameron had been missing for six days. Her body was found on this path, brutally raped and murdered. Some of her clothes were recovered on this side of the path. What was never found was the person that killed her. In fact, there were two unsolved murders in this region back in the late 70s. Teresa could make a third. Now, that's not all. For about five years, the Allures have run a website, whokilledteresa.com, gathering tips and stories. What John Allure says he's found are 20 victims of sexual assaults or attempts. If all those things are, look, are happening on the same locale, um, you know, I am by no means saying it is, it is a sexual predator. Def, I don't know that, but I think you need to look at it that way first. The Allures are part of a group now pushing provincial police to set up a cold case squad. While some officers revisited Teresa's case a few years ago, it wasn't very in-depth. This search is the first time anyone's really gone over this forest. The searchers found several things, some tools, a shovel. Someone will go through it all later, turn over whatever they think is important to police. The Allures say so much time has passed, the search is less about finding who killed Teresa and more about justice and finding if that person could still be out there. In Magog, Quebec, I'm Global National's Mike Armstrong reporting.